It's no secret that educators are facing a number of challenges. We're dealing with larger class sizes, increased accountability, and disengaged students. I'm sure we've all seen this before. Students asleep at their desk instead of paying attention in class. Now, I don't think this is the result of poor teachers. In fact, I think the majority of teachers really care about engaging their students. But I do believe that cramming students into lecture theatres, talking at them for two hours and hoping something will stick is an outdated approach. Fortunately, a movement is building to deliver academic content in new ways. Ways that grabs the attention of students, increases class discussion and allows teachers to spend more time interacting with their pupils. Personally, I've had great success with the use of online video lectures. Videos like this one and those on the screen that consist of rich media content. I use these videos not just to supplement traditional lectures but replace them entirely. In fact, for several entire courses at RMIT University, we have now replaced face-to-face -face lectures with online videos. Students watch the videos at home or anywhere else they want before attending tutorials in which we discuss and apply what they've learned. In effect, the lectures have become homework and what used to be homework is now done in class. You might have heard people refer to this as flipping the classroom. If you haven't yet, I guarantee you will. This approach is being incredibly well received by students, by teachers and by educational institutions. I believe there are three main reasons for this. First of all, we make the lecture content appealing to students. Making a video forces me to review and streamline my lecture material and on average a one hour lecture will be reduced down to a 15 to 20 minute video. Second, students can access lecture content when and where they want it. Today, students already seek out information online. Let's embrace this rather than fight it. We've also found that students like to pause and replay videos, a significant advantage over traditional lectures. And finally, the use of online video creates more time in class. We get the theory out of the way first and then in class get down to the real work of discussing and applying what's being learned. So, based on all these benefits, I want to encourage you to look at how you could use video lectures in your course. They'll help you do more with less, improve the quality of your content, and engage your students. There are heaps of resources available to help you get started, from e-learning communities to instructional YouTube videos. But the important point is you have to want to explore what's possible. I hope this video has encouraged you to do so.